Hello everyone and welcome to the IBM Database Encryption Expert demo. IBM Database Encryption Expert is a full featured access control tool that as the name suggests does encryption but it also does a whole lot more as we will see today. In my web browser I'm running the Encryption Expert Management Console and this is connected to a live VMware virtual machine that's running Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 4 and has DB2 version 9.5 and IBM Database Encryption Expert version 1.1.1 installed. One of the most powerful capabilities that Encryption Expert provides is its ability to define and control who has access to what sensitive resources on the file system. When they have access, how they have access, and what they will see when they do access the data. For example, whether they see plain text or encrypted text. Encryption Expert works at the file system level, and the most common usage is to, of course, encrypt our database tables. But it's also flexible enough to encrypt any file on the file system that also contains our sensitive data, such as our log files, audit records, import and export files. Let's take a look at this in action. I've set up Encryption Expert to protect our important export directory. In this export directory, there's an important file called export.dat that contains sensitive information that we have exported out of our HR database. Voradmin is our DB2 database administrator. And as you can see, she has full access to the contents of this file. To her, it's business as usual. She can see all the sensitive social security numbers and effectively, and effectively treats it like any other file on the file system. However, this file is transparently being protected by Encryption Expert. If we were another user on the file system, let's say DAS user1, and we try to go peek at the contents of that file, going into the directory, and try to look at that file, we will see only encrypted text. This is because our online policy we created specified that the file should be encrypted, and only VOR admin should have access to the encryption keys to read this file. In fact, even if someone like the root user on the box can be prevented from accessing this file at all. Let's log in as root. Go into this directory. Export. Okay. And try to look at this file and we will get access permission denied. As you know, protecting against a privileged user such as root is no mean feat, but with Encryption Expert this becomes a whole lot easier. In fact, Encryption Expert can, can block the root user from even seeing the contents of this file, of this directory. One of the other great things about Encryption Expert is that as your business rules change, as inevitably they will, Encryption Expert makes it easy to change your access policies on the fly. So for example, let's say we no longer want our database administrator, VOR admin, to, to be able to view the contents of this export file. Well, let's go back to our for admin user. Okay. As a security administrator, you'd log into the management console. Security administrator is the one who manages Encryption Expert and manages access to the files that Encryption Expert is protecting. He would click on the policies and find the policy that we've used to protect this directory, which is called export dir. And as you'll see, this policy contains multiple rules that define who has access to the contents of this directory. Rule number two is the one we are interested in, since this, this is the one that gives VOR admin access to the file from the file system. We've given him three permissions, one of them being being able to apply the key. Now this is what allows him to decrypt the file. Let's remove that access. Let's save the policy. Okay. Give it a moment here to apply. It gets applied automatically from the encryption expert agent. And now when VOR admin goes into this directory and tries to look at the contents of this file, he sees only encrypted text. 
Voila, so we've now shown you how IBM Database Encryption Expert's online policy allows you to easily control who can access sensitive files. As well, we've seen how access control can be dynamically changed on the fly by your security administrator as, as soon as your rules, business rules change. But in addition to protecting all your online files, database, IBM Database Encryption Expert also provides the capabilities to fully protect your DB2 backup files. In fact, Encryption Expert integrates directly with the DB2 backup utility to seamlessly encrypt your backups on the fly, regardless of where they are being stored. Why is this important? Well, backup files by default have no security on them. Let me show you what I mean. Let's do a DB2 backup on our HR database. Effectively, once the data has been sent into a backup file, all those access controls and security controls that you've placed inside of your database that will protect your sensitive information have now become irrelevant. Anyone that has access to a simple Linux utility, such as strings, and who can access the file can now view the complete contents of your backup file, essentially the complete contents of your database. For example, I will use strings here. look at the backup file and let's say I want to find out what Andy's social security number is. Well, there it is. 11128 We, It's that simple. So of course to counter this security threat you need to encrypt your backup files. To do this, let's do this using Encryption Expert. We need to create an offline backup policy. So let's go back to the management console. Click on policies and we'll add offline policy. We will call it backup HR and this policy will have one backup rule in it. Backup rule one. It'll allow people to do a backup for the database HR, but it will encrypt it using AES 256-bit key. I pre-created this key in the backup group one key group. In addition to integrating with the backup command, Encryption Expert also can integrate with the DB2 compression library, backup compression library. So we'll ask it to compress as well as encrypt. Okay, when we're done, we press OK. OK to create the policy, and now we have our backup policy. We now need to apply this policy to our host. Training 1 is a virtual machine that we're using. Click on Hosts, and we'll ask it to guard database click on guard, we'll select our offline policy, and it's as simple as that. In a real life scenario you'll have multiple hosts and you'll be able to apply the same policy to all the hosts in the same location. Now let's go back and try that again. There's one change that you need to make to your backup command, specifically to call the encryption library as part of the command. In your environment, this would most likely involve just updating your backup scripts. And now when the administrator launches his backup command, it'll automatically encrypt and compress the backup transparently. Give this a second for the backup to run. Once it is complete, now when an obviously an overly curious administrator tries to look at the contents of this file using the same command we used earlier, strings hr Grab for Andy, 
you'll notice he can't, nothing comes up. In fact, if you were to look at the contents of this file, after the header, after the plain text header, all the data you'll see is encrypted. So to summarize, you have just seen how IBM Database Encryption Expert can be used to easily protect any file on the file system with its high performance encryption. It transparently protects files such as table space files, import export files, audit logs, etc. And allows access to them in a context aware fashion, depending on who's asking, what they're asking for, when, when they're asking, and how they're asking. We've also seen how Encryption Expert allows you to automatically encrypt any DB2 backup files on the fly. This took us all of minutes to set up and allows us to encrypt and compress the, the backup file simultaneously.